Hello everyone. In this session, we'll discuss UI control slider. Now, slider control is used to display a continuous or discrete range of valid numeric choices and allows the user to interact with the control. Now, let me give you an example for the slider. Say, for example, we are having a color control. Say, for example, we are we want to change the intensity of red color. So, starting with black to red. So light red dark red and we make the different shades of red color so for that we are sliding the values of the component and we get the color so for that we are using slider control now it is basically a, uh, represented in form of track and a knob or you can say a thumb so a track is there in which you can see the thumb is there which we can slide it onto the slider control now it is optional it has two things that are optional that means one thing that is label and the tick marks now they are optional a slider with tick marks and labels on it indicating different slider positions we'll see that into our example now along with this if you want to make a slider three values are required one is minimum value of the slider then maximum value of the slider and lastly the default value for the slider so the value should always be a number within the range of min and max and mean value should be less than the max value it's very default and mean defaults to 0 whereas max defaults to 100 if you want to change those values we can change them now the constructors required for the sliders are one is default constructor empty constructor the another constructor is parameterized constructor which takes three arguments minimum value maximum value and the default value so constructors constructor constructs a slider with specified values that is mean max and current values let's see an example for the slider now the package required for the slider is scene.layout package and in the slider let's see an example a slider demo which extends application our start method now slider slider equals to new slider now as you can see three arguments are provided to the constructor of the slider the one is minimum value that is set to one maximum value that is set to 100 and default value or current value that is set to 20 now as we had discussed earlier slider can have two optional things one is tick labels and another is tick marks so over here the if you want to have them onto the slider the methods required are set show tick labels with value boolean argument that is true or false default is false and another is set show tick marks with value true so if you want to have so arguments are to be provided true then we are taking a stack pen the object of the stack pen that is root equals to new stack pen root dot get children dot add slider over here we are taking a stack pen different than h box v box so scene scene equals to new scene this root is added to the scene and scene is added to the stage our public static void main let's see the output so this is what you can see these are the values so the method show tick labels so over here these are the labels 1 26 51 70 600 and show tick marks so these are the tick marks which you are seeing so these are the tick marks these are two are optional if we want it we can add otherwise not otherwise it would be a blank empty slider let's see the program for the same so this is the same program Let's run it. So as you can see, this is a slider set to the default value, and the default value which we had set is 20. So it is a 20. If we change it, so we can change the value. Maximum is 100, minimum is 1. So which we, along with that we can change the values. So if you want the default minimum value to be 0, maximum value to be let's say 1000. Let's try to run it. So this is a slider with minimum value 0, maximum value 1000, as you can see it. This is a slider. So we can slide it. So in various applications where we need to change the value based on this slider value, we need to uh, apply some operations based on the slider operations, we can set it. In various scientific applications where we require the measurements where we require the calculations based on the 
values of the slider, we can use the slider. That's it. Thank you.